I am a girl with Asperger's syndrome. I'm the Aspie girl. Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. Are you craving a frappuccino, but don't feel like going all the way to Starbucks in the bad weather? Yes, it snowed where I live. The storm hit me pretty bad. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a frappuccino just like from Starbucks, but right at home. Let's get into the recipe. What you'll need to make this homemade frappuccino is a blender, coffee, an ice cube tray or something to freeze your coffee in, milk, a sweetener of your choice, any extra ingredients you want. I'm adding chocolate syrup to make this a mocha frappuccino and whipped cream for the top. First, pour the coffee into the ice cube tray and then put it in the freezer until frozen. What you want is coffee ice cubes. If you're impatient or just prefer doing it this way, you can just use regular coffee and regular ice cubes. But regular ice cubes are water, so this method will completely ruin the flavor of your frappuccino. Using coffee ice cubes will not affect the flavor of your frappuccino at all. After your coffee ice cubes are completely frozen, pop them out of the ice cube tray and put them in the blender. Put the same amount of milk. I'm going to add some heavy cream to mine. This step is optional, but I feel it gives the frappuccino a creamier texture. Add one tablespoon of your sweetener per serving. I actually ran out of sugar, so I'm adding syrup instead to sweeten it. I'm making this for my older brother and I, so I'll be adding two tablespoons of the syrup. I'm then going to add four tablespoons of chocolate syrup to give the frappuccino a mocha flavor. If you're going to add flavor to your frappuccino, add two tablespoons of that per serving. The next step is to turn on the blender and blend it all up. Once it is smooth like a frappuccino, turn off the blender. Next, pour your frappuccino in a tall glass, top it off with whipped cream, and then add a straw to avoid making a mess when drinking it. You can then enjoy your delicious homemade frappuccino. I love this frappuccino because it's actually a lot better than the ones from Starbucks. It's cheaper too, a great way to save money and you can make it from your own kitchen. This frappuccino is the best one I've ever had and I guarantee you will love it once you make it. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my recipe on how to make a Starbucks frappuccino. If you liked this video, please subscribe for more videos on my channel. I post a new video every Friday. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, please comment down below what you thought of that homemade frappuccino. Thank you for watching. Bye.